friends, I want to talk to you today about a special word. The word I want to talk to you about is called responsible. Maybe you've heard that word. Maybe you already know what that word, word means. Why don't you practice saying that word? Say responsible. Awesome. I want to talk to you about what this word responsible means. It means if, when you have an important duty or an important job to do, you are being responsible. I wonder, can you think of anything that you're responsible for? Something that you have to do at home in order to help your family out? Or a very important job that you feel um, that you have to do every day? Maybe it's cleaning your room. Maybe it's making sure that you bring your dish to the counter after you eat dinner every night. I want you to listen to this story as I read you a story about being responsible. Responsibility by Kelly L. Hicks. Do you know what it means to be responsible? If you make good choices and help at school and at home, you are showing responsibility. When you take out the garbage or set the table for dinner, it helps your family. This little guy is saying, how do you show responsibility? Your school probably has rules to help keep you safe. And when you follow the rules, even if others don't, you are showing responsibility. Do you recycle? When you recycle plastic or paper, you're showing responsibility because you're helping keep our planet clean. Being responsible can be hard. Sometimes you might want to watch TV when it's your turn to help with the dishes. What should a responsible person do? They should help with the dishes. When you show responsibility, you help even if you would rather be doing something else. When you show responsibility, others will notice. You might get to be your teacher's helper. It feels good to be responsible and it makes others proud of you too. How can you show responsibility? I hope you thought about some ways that you can be responsible. Maybe you can help your family out. Maybe you can make sure that your room is clean or your toys are picked up. I want to ask you something. Do you think that you can be responsible and help out strangers even if you don't know them? What's one way we can help out strangers? I'm thinking of something. I know a lot of you do this when you're going to the store or even when you're out, you wear a mask. That's one way that we can be responsible and we can help out strangers to make sure that germs don't change during this time. Even one person can make a difference. Did you know a long, long time ago, people didn't have to wear seat belts? And then one person at a time started wearing seat belts and they buckled up for safety. And now everyone can be safe on the road as they wear their seat belts. Just like that, we're learning how we can be safe and responsible during this time. I wonder, I wonder, can you write a note to tell someone thank you? Maybe you can be responsible this week by writing a note to someone you care about, telling them thank you, and thanking them for something that they've done for you. Maybe you can send a picture of yourself holding your note to me, and I can put a book together, and we can talk about ways that we can be grateful and be responsible and help out strangers around us. <laughs>